Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to Ancestors Reborn, a show where we bring the best Ancestors Legacy players together and allow them to compete weekly to claim their victories. I am Melkor, I am bringing you a show that gives you access to the top players, their strategies, how they fight and how the games are won. Witness as the slightest decisions can change the tide of the entire battlefield and the smallest base rush can leave a pro's legacy in ruin. Now on Ancestors Reborn. Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to the second week of Ancestors Legacy Scrim Nights hosted every Monday there'll be links below to sign up for them. Um, and links to other stuff as well. Today we have Stevenus, again like we had last week, versus Methodius playing Lost Heritage. Both Vikings, so it's some Viking versus Viking stuff. Um, Stevenus actually chose to go random and it gave him Vikings, so yeah, that's that should be interesting. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see some more Ancestors Legacy. Uh, two big players, Methodius and Stevenus. Uh, Stevenus second place in the E4I1 tournament. And yeah, he's been in other tournament in other tournaments as well. And Methodius second place in the E4I2 tournament, uh, second tournament they hosted. So yeah, both have a second place at the name, but not a first. And it's going to be interesting to see which one's going to come out on top. So both taking a first village now. Uh, this, by the way, is hosted, uh, well, organised. I mean, uh, by the OP noobs. Uh, there'll be links to them below as well. Um, yeah, just had to mention them. And I'm of course doing the recording. Yeah, so both are taking their first village. Uh, Methodius having a very interesting hero scout ahead. I uh, wonder what he's going to do there. Methodius actually captured the village first. Um, he must have had like... Either he might have spawned closer or something. And... Ooh! Interesting, so Medoff... Methodius is actually going tier 2, and then I'm guessing they'll go for barracks. So he's doing going tier 2, tent, and then a barracks. Well, Stevenus, he's gone barracks, tent, and then uh, probably tier 2. Yeah, this is very interesting. He hasn't built his barracks, uh, barracks yet. Ah. Don't really know how that's going to work. I don't know, I haven't seen this strategy before. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what he's going to do. Um, Steven is going for his second village as well, a little bit slower than Methodius right now. Um, ooh, he's, he, I think he's worried that Methodius might be here, uh, doing one of my old tricks while just hiding in here and then charging out. But no, he's actually just wasting time here. Um, he's getting an extra unit so that should speed up taking this village so it, so it shouldn't waste too much time. Yeah, he's charging in to try and take that. Methodius looking very weak with his soldiers but, you know, he managed to take it. And, ah, there he goes, he got the barracks up. And it'd be interesting to see why it took so long, what was he doing? Did he go tier 2? I've got no idea. Anyway, Steven has taken this, he's got his third unit, so... Uh, yeah, he's... he was in the lead with... he, he is in the lead with units, because he's got a fourth spearman out. Um, a third spearman, fourth unit. Um, he's taken this, so it's currently a... Uh, Four squads versus three squad. Methodius struggling with numbers. And here we go, Methodius got another unit out now. So, balance the game. Both going for different strategies how they approach each other. But Methodius should spot this. And yeah, he's hiding in the forest. He didn't get seen. Um, is he going to try an ambush? Uh, stuff happening over there as well. Where my mouse is. Yeah, he's formed. Good timing there, he managed to form into circle formation and yeah, Stevenus knew no point engaging that, he was too slow. Um, he's had to retreat and now he's just going to get run down. Um, it looks like, oh, he broke him there as well. Yeah, I think I think Stevenus just made a few quite slow plays and yeah, it didn't work in his favour. But he's regrouped, he didn't lose too much, luckily he got out of there in time. Um, he actually kind of worked in his favour retreating and now, yeah, got the flank. There we go, that worked in his favour. He's gonna either kill this unit or force it to retreat. And ooh, is, yes, he got the kill. Um, I mean, 
I'm an unbiased commentator here. Unbiased, but... <laughs> I, I just like to see interesting stuff happen. Uh, so Methodius realised that he's going to lose over here. Stevenus is going to come up here, so just... Just pull back and see what it can do. Steven is causing trouble on this side. Uh, gonna kill some peasants and set this alight. Yeah, it's it's looking in uh, Steven's favour now. Uh, Methodius having to really pull back to try and save his village here. I think Steven has senses it. He saw that he was taking this through the fog of war. He's moving up now. Methodius is not here. Therefore, where's he going? He must be coming this way. Or maybe he just knew he couldn't take it. That, that would actually fit as well. Uh, Methodius trying to um, like uh, mirror Stevenus's mu movements to try and take this village. Interestingly, he had uh, this on guard. He might have been expecting an attack to come from somewhere. What I'm guessing is he saw them retreat from here, and he thought they might be going up here to take this. So he thought, just ring the bell for 10 seconds and see what happens. But as soon as he saw that we were going this way to try and relieve village C, then he knew immediately at that point, D is safe. And, ooh, interesting trap. So Methodius placed a trap here, which I don't think Stevenus will expect, so he's done a more than likely run right into that. Stevenus rung the bell of the village, he's defending it. Wait, that's done pointless. He, Methodius done it, take it easy. So it is currently balanced, but once Methodius takes this, the war score will be ticking in his favour. Methodius having to uh, replenish and heal his troops here. Uh, Stevenus managed only just to get his spearmen out. Uh, bringing in another one to defend mid, um, and oh, he's done a walk past it. He's not done a he's not done a walk into it. He's just done a walk past it. That's or maybe not. Maybe he might just. Oh, he was so close. Oh, that that is not what Methodius wanted. He just walked straight past it. Methodius does have some extra spearmen coming up. Um, he actually didn't not def bother defending that. I probably thought the trap would do it, but no, he just. He placed it a couple of millimetres at the wrong side. He's done to try and take this instead. I think if Stevenus can get this into gold about now, he should probably defend it. Um, or maybe it might fall to Methodius. Stevenus has taken this village here. Um, well, he's capturing it anyway and he should take it without, really, uh, without much uh, trouble. But yeah, how he avoided this trap, was it? Was it an actual killing trap or just a small pit trap that? I don't know, it's... Yeah, it's difficult to tell which trap is which when I like that. Methodius, oh, that's his second unit is lost. Not what he wants. Steven is trying to save this village here. Methodius did manage to take it, as you can clearly see. Um, yeah, and he is going to hold off Stevenus as well. Methodius trying to take middle this time. I don't think he can do it. I don't think he's got the strength, and... Did he... Walk through the trap? I've got no idea. <laughs> but somehow Steven has got round it again. Um, huh, sadly, I missed that. Um, it looks like he's going for some sneaky play to try and take E, whereas um, he's sending his other groups round here to uh, take A, probably with some other units as well. No, I think he actually lost his spearman here. I think it died. Not what he wanted. Um, he should hold on here, and even if he does have to retreat, you know, his village should be fine. That's not going to be a problem. Destroying Methodius over here as well with help from the hero. Um, he is attacking this village. Methodius has not noticed it yet, and he's going to lose it just because of that. You know, if he, if he spotted it a bit earlier, it is dark, so it would have been difficult, but he could have defended that if his reactions were a little bit quicker. Um, oh, brilliant play by Steven. Uh, distract these two with here on Spears and then just send in a unit just to take the village and then he's probably just going to charge and then get the flank. Maybe even wipe both squads and now they manage to retreat, which is unfortunate for Stevens. He's going to come back here and uh, replenish. However, if I was Stevenus, I'd actually send a couple of units back here because it's quite obvious that Methodius would be wanting to push this, which he is doing with two units and he's got two retreating here who could quite easily move up here and replenish. Uh, he managed to capture this. Uh, Methodius got, uh, bringing back his troops here to defend C. Uh, Methodius just spamming those spears. It's going to be interesting to see who goes swordsman first. Because whoever gets those swordsmen first is going to get a big advantage. I wonder if any of them are in tier 3 yet. So no, Methodius is still training uh, his spears. And Stevenus, yeah, same again, still going for spears. 
Stephen is wanting to try and retake his village. I like how it's been mostly even. Um, it has been, I think, in Methodius' favour, as you can see by the wall straw for most of the game. Um, however, it's like one takes a village and then there's always a counter-attack right after it. Right, he's replenished these two spearmen. Oh, actually, he recruited two new ones and these are replenishing now, so Methodius is going to have a lot of troops on the battlefield. He's actually going to have seven troops and a hero, where Stevenus will only have one, two, three, four, four troops and a hero. So yeah, he really outnumbers Stevenus right now, that's going to cause quite big problems. He should have the soldiers to be able to take E. Is it E? Um, a, B, C, D, E, yep. <laughs> Difficult to see at times when there's a unit nearby. Uh, yeah, he should be able to take that. Then if he brings in the flank as well, he should be able to take mid. And then he's even got units here to quite easily defend this if he goes into this uh, wheat field here. Or maybe even make a... No, he won't be able to make a push. You know Stevenus would have replenished by now and will have extra troops. I like how Stevenus is just scouting this area with his hero, making sure that this front here is done to be safe. But no, it's clear that Methodius is very interested in going for middle. And he's actually not going E. He's just not interested in it. He's bringing his soldiers up and he's just gonna... He knows that this is so close to his village that he can take it whenever he wants. So he's just gonna leave it here and just let Stevenus hold it for now and actually take... Make sure that he holds middle, uh, B and C because, you know, if you've got those three and then easy take on this one because it's uh, close to the base then... Yeah, you're in a good position. It's now daytime, so uh, the gameplay changes a bit between daytime and nighttime. It's much easier to take villages at nighttime because, of course, it's harder to see. So, yeah, if Stevenus wants to win, he he needs to work in the nighttime. That's what you've got to do when you're behind. You've got to work in the dark. Uh, whereas Methodius now his now is his time to really like kick him because he's got most village. He can play defensive, and daytime works well for that. Although I don't think he's going to win this skirmish here. Once he gets some reinforcements in, of course he will win, but... You know, it'd be interesting to see if Stevenus can get him to retreat, or possibly even kill a unit. Um, and here we go, Stevenus rotating onto the swordsman now. That's why Methodius was able to outnumber him, it's because Stevenus invested in tier 3, and is going in for these... Uh, swordsmen for the advantage, although... You know, although swordsmen are better versus spears, when you're outnumbered 1 to 3, Oh, three to one. Um, yeah, still you're probably gonna lose that one. Yeah, Steven is here. He just doesn't have the troops to take this village, and it looks like Methodius made a very sneaky play to just move up and take D from Stevenus uh, with these two that came around here. Which, um, oh, they're immediately done. They come into conflict with some swordsmen. He made a charge just to, um, I think, try to make sure that I don't know. I think he was trying to get some units fighting and in the base so that I can cap the village and still hold. Yeah, he's realised that he's going to lose here. Just pull back uh, to like here or something or mid and just replenish. Uh, Stevenus has this place under siege. Uh, Methodius cannot do anything about it right now because as soon as he does, if he brings his units out, uh, then Stevenus is just going uh, to kill him and ruin his economy. Uh, all Methodius needs is basically one unit here and he'll be fine. This village will be saved. Yeah, so it's not actually over for Stevenus, even though that he's actually uh, two villages down, one village down. You know, he's going to capture this one, so it, he will only be one village down eventually. Um, those swordsmen is a massive advantage, and it's definitely going to work in his favour. I have seen games in this position get turned around just by one person having swordsmen. be interesting to see if Methodius can respond quickly enough and just, you know, get his own swordsmen, or possibly even some um, axemen, the berserkers, because they... They do a good job on swordsmen, so those will be interesting to see. Although uh, Methodius does have three villages, only two, no, only one is actually gathering resources, because this one's under siege by units and this one's under siege. Uh, whether Stevenus, you know, he's got nothing generating resources right now, this one, it's not under siege, he don't have a unit here, he could probably afford to release the peasants and work for resources, but. Of course, he doesn't see the full map as we do. Um, oh, that's actually what he's doing. He's trying to guess that Methodius, he's not interested in this right now. Just release the peasants, get the resources. Uh, I'm guessing he's struggling for... Yes, you can actually kind of see his morale's going down. Um, 
yeah, he's struggling for food. He's starving. He needs that food. Um, yeah, that's that's going to cause a lot of big problems for him. You know what? Swordsman beats Spearman very easily. But when they're starving to death, it's a completely different story. Uh, Stevenus did manage to wipe one of Methodius' uh, Spearman units here. Right, he's sorted his food situation, so that's good. He can now charge and then actually do something. Yeah, but these swordsmen, although he's sorted his food problem, it's not going to be enough. There was just too much of a morale penalty early on. Just retreat, replenish, and come back for more troops. Oh, that, oh dear. I don't know if he can actually afford a retreat. I think he needs this. And he knows he needs this. I think that he might actually be retreating to just like charge in and make sure that he does take this. Um, oh, he, he managed to get a wipe on Methodius there, which was good. I don't think it's going to be enough. He needs this village just for the food. Otherwise, that's definitely going to be it. And especially now that Methodius is putting uh, Stevenus's only vid village under siege. Although it looks like Methodius is struggling for food, is it? No, it's just this unit here has low morale. Um, I don't know why. Right, there we go. It was only that unit, weirdly enough. No idea what the cause of that was. Stevenus putting up a final stand here at Village D. He's bringing in some swordsmen, and he, he didn't even bother replenishing these. He just knew he had to charge in and just do whatever he could. Right now, he might actually be best just retreating with Spearman as well. Or using him to defend this village, because, you know, Stevenus needs resources more than Methodius does now. Methodius has resources to spare no matter what, whereas Stevenus, he needs whatever he can get. The war score... It's ticking in Methodius' favour quicker and quicker as time goes on. And he's looking better and better. He's got more troops over here as well. He's bringing in reinforcements. Not looking good for Stevenus. He's going to lose this village. He's going to lose this as well here. He, he just got outnumbered. <laughs> Funnily enough, this trap is still here. Uh, no one's touched it yet. Um... <laughs> Just find that interesting. On your yes, Methodius replenished over here. I don't think Stevenus can win now. Um, yeah, he's got Village C under siege, but you know, what's the point in that? And there we go. Methodius now has every single village. A couple of them are under siege. Well, one of them's under siege and not generating resources. Um, but you know, that that's all Stevenus has going for him right now. He's, you know, he's not going to be able to break through that. He, he might take middle. Middle is Methodius's weakest point, and I think he's kind of um, started to notice that. That's why he's bringing in a unit. He's he's probably just going to go in circle formation here just to hold him back. Steven is running out of food again, and he's just going to get bad timing here. As soon as Methodius arrives to defend it, Steven arrives to attack it. So, yeah, that's bad timing. Uh, Methodius realising that now. Um, it can just take this unit down, and he's running out of food as well. Just, you know, probably these peasants here could probably take out this Spearman unit now because they're so hungry. Yep, he's realised this is defended. He's not taking that. He's retreating. He's just got so many units, and he cannot afford a food upkeep. I think that's it for him. Um, yeah, just look at the war score ticking in his favour. I'm expecting to see a GG call soon. Oh, Methodius is actually going to try a base rush as well. The humiliation uh, movement, which is out. It, it's not really, uh, that's not what it's called, but that's what I always see it. If you're in a position where you actually can uh, base rush your opponent, um, and it's not out of desperation, then it's sort of a humiliation moment. That's how I've always seen it as, that's how I've always used it. And it's all about humiliating your opponent and just saying, you know what, I can just I can just run into your base. I don't need to defend villages, just go into my base and get my win. Uh, it's uh, I also used to uh, a couple of times just disband my units. Like, you know, when it's when it's clear that I'm going to win, um, I did this a lot in two V twos, just highlight all my units and just click delete, go downstairs, uh, go get a drink and then come back to see the win. It's <laughs> I just like messing with people. Uh, uh, it, that's not actually what he's doing here, by the way. Um, he's just wanting to like get a closer view, see what Steven is, is actually doing, and he's out of um, zone from this watchtower, so he's safe. Yeah, there we go. GGs have been called in, and um, yeah, well played to both, and both are very good players. Uh, but Methodius got the win there. 
Um, actually, Exad has just logged on now, so I'm wanting to see an Exad Marlon match. Um, thank you to both players for allowing me to record this. Uh, thank you to the OP noobs for organising it and destructive. I always have a problem saying this, destructive creations for developers, uh, for, of course, stuff, um, you know, organise it and that as well, and for game and everything, uh, thank you. Hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.